Thousands of New Yorkers are at risk of losing their homes this Saturday when the city's eviction moratorium expires. Yeah, one in four New Yorkers missed a rent payment over the last 12 months, and there, there doesn't appear to be any help in sight for tenants. Landlord tenant attorney Altagracia Pierre Arabridge joins us this morning with the steps that renters can take right now if they're worried about being evicted. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me again. You know, I think a lot of folks right now are in panic mode. So when this moratorium expires on Saturday, is there a grace period that actually kicks in to allow renters to catch up or, or can landlords begin eviction proceedings right away? No, so the, 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 the context of self-help eviction is not available in most states. So landlords still have to go through the court process, which is obtaining a judgment and a warrant, a judgment of possession and a warrant in order to evict tenants. Moreover, tenants who have applied for rental assistance um, are protected from eviction pursuant to that, uh, to that protection itself. How, how, many, um, how many New Yorkers will this actually impact come this weekend? Um, I'm not going to be able to give you a number. I'll say, as you said, one in four. Many, many evictions are in court. There are tens of thousands of cases in court currently. What I'll say is those cases were stayed. Most of them were stayed. Um, the failure of the governor to extend this, this eviction moratorium means that these cases get to go forward. Some of them need some procedural work to go forward. Um, I would say most of them do, which means that folks won't be able to, won't be evicted right away. Okay. Well, that, that's good. I mean, yeah. Small consolation there, but Governor Hochul requested one billion dollars in assistance from the federal government, but only received twenty-seven million. So, is there an opportunity for any kind of last-minute solution there? Absolutely. I mean, folks, um, what people are urged to do, what tenants are urged to do, is to apply for rental assistance, right? Even though there's only twenty-seven million in the pot, as opposed to the one billion that was requested, mm -hmm. uh, the portals for rental assistance are now reopened, and upon applying. Any eviction is state. So tenants are encouraged to reopen whether or not they get part of this tiny amount of money. They're encouraged to, re to apply, which means their eviction is stayed pending a decision on the application, we can, which can take months. So but, tenants should apply because that actually stays their eviction okay. whether or not the moratorium is extended. But, just, but just, just to be very clear here, does that mean that there's additional funding to help those tenants and the landlords both, right, to keep that roof over their heads? Absolutely. It's not. It's a minute amount. It's 27 million. Uh, One billion was was asked for. The governor only received 27 million, which will go quickly. Uh, however, the portals, um, the state was sued by um, the legal aid organization, and the state portals are now reopened for folks to apply. And the mere act of applying stays the eviction. But there is 27 million in the pot additionally. Okay, so it buys them a little bit of time. Uh, but what steps can homeowners or renters take right now to, to keep that roof over their heads? Absolutely. So, again, apply for rental assistance, right? Uh, come out with a deal with your landlord. If you're a landlord and you've asked your tenant to apply and they have not applied, you can actually apply yourself. Um, if you're a landlord who has not started a case, you would be able to commence a case after the eviction, um, after the eviction um, moratorium ends on the 15th. Um, right. So if your if your tenant has left, there is a possibility that when the pot we refills that you can ask for money even if the tenant has left. But um, if your landlord start a court proceeding or continue your court proceeding, now that you would be able to continue it if the moratorium is not extended. If your tenant apply for rental assistance, seek help from an attorney. Right. Mm -hmm. um, keep up on the moratorium extension, whether or not it happens. And actually, try to negotiate with your landlord yeah. some type of payment plan. Yeah. yeah, I know a lot of landlords and tenants, obviously, looking for for answers and trying to get through this. Well, Alta Gracia, thank you so much for joining us and clarifying some of these questions we had for for our viewers. And if you need to apply for rental assistance, you can head over to our website, fix11.com, where we'll have a link that will take you directly to that site to help you out. So.